video, we're going to take a look at the great police song, Message in a Bottle. We'll look at the introduction riff, the signature riff, sort of a pre-chorus progression, and then the chorus and some alternative voicings or options to play uh, in that chorus section. So let me play through the, uh, the introduction, sort of the signature riff, and we'll break that down. <laughs> just three positions. Uh, we're going to start here on the fourth fret of our A string. Use my first finger. Second finger is going to grab sixth fret of the D string. And then my pinky is going to grab the G string on the eighth fret. That's kind of a, a mental image or a feel that you're going to just uh, use in every position. They do move kind of quickly though. The next position is the same idea, 5th fret of the E string, 7th fret of A, 9th fret of D. Up 2 frets, so that's 7 on E, 9 on A, and 11 on D. Those three together. Second fret. Second E, 4A, 6D. And then maybe the trickiest part of the whole riff is a little slide with your pinky from the 6th fret to the 7th. Then that drops you back into the position to start the loop over. So. That little slide from 6 to 7. Real slow. From there we go to the pre-chorus which is uh, three power chords, A, D, and E. Fifth and seventh on the E and A string. A lot of down strokes. Fifth fret of the A string, seventh fret of the D string for the D power chord. Up two frets to seven and nine. That's all that is. the C sharp minor to an A and that's all you really have to play to uh, to play the song so this is a bar on the fourth fret A string all the way down to high E string second finger fifth fret B 
third finger, sixth fret D, and pinky, sixth fret uh, G string. The A grip that I like to use here is open A, seventh fret D, sixth fret G, open B and E. Arpeggiate those chords. You could also go from the C minor, C sharp minor, down to A2, just just second fret D, second fret G. couple options. The C sharp can be played as sort of a hook bar, 4th fret again on the A string, 6th fret of D and G, and then open B and E. To this A. Or this A. Okay, another option would be to play your C sharp minor up here. This is on the 9th fret of the G string, 11th fret of the A and D string. Getting the low E string. I'm using an A grip here, it's really an A2 grip. I'm using the ninth fret of the D and the G string. Another option is. strings, the first position, 6th fret D, 4th fret G, up to the A, back to the 6 and 4, and then down 2 frets. You can play that through those changes. sharp with the, with the 9 added to it, barring across all strings on the 2nd fret. I'm using my pinky on the 4th fret of the high E string. in a bottle. It moves around pretty good and um, it's got some nice uh, chord changes to it. Those ninths, those uh, introduction uh, licks are great things to maybe steal and, and pull into your playing, adding that uh, ninth tone into something that you don't usually uh, use it for. It might add a little uh, taste or flavor to what you're, what you're trying to play. So we can use this as, as an example to steal some great Andy Summers ideas and, and put into all of our playing. Thanks a lot for watching. <laughs>